Here's a quick update on all things related to OSHA's vaccination or test mandate. On Friday, January 7th, the United States Supreme Court heard oral arguments regarding the ETS at a special session of the court. Challenges to the ETS requested that the court issue a, a stay to stop the ETS before January 10th, stating that the mandate was overly broad. The one cannot predict how the court will rule. Based on their line of questioning, a majority of the justices appear to be skeptical of the ETS. The justices focused on the major questions doctrine, where when significant economic or political regulations are at issue, the court first ensures if the agency is in fact exercising authority that has been delegated to it by Congress. OSHA's first compliance deadline was January 10th, and we still haven't heard back from the court. While we wait on the court's decision, what must you do? Employers must really continue to make good faith efforts to comply with the ETS's requirements. In the meantime, OSHA has been busy as well. They've actually clarified several questions on the ETS regarding testing requirements, documentation, and vaccination rosters. We here at Bond, we've actually published extensive blog posts on this topic. And I encourage you to visit Bond's labor and employment blog for detailed information. Stay tuned because there's going to be further developments. Thank you everyone.